Hi, I'm Jen, and I am the mother of a little two, almost two and a half year old little raddest dude in the world named Koa. So it, as far as keeping Koa's diagnosis a secret, we didn't keep it a secret, um, even from like day one from getting the NIPT results, because you know we needed support from family and you know we gotta tell, tell people, I mean, why, why wouldn't you? Um, we didn't have any qualms about you know, opening up to, to family and, and friends about, you know, the potential diagnosis. After Koa was born, it was like, all right, well, you know, are we going to actively tell people that Koa is XXY? And we were like, no, you know, that's Koa's story to tell. It's like private information. So we thought it's Koa's story. And, but you know, he, he's an infant and now he's two and he's, he, he can't tell his own story. And so we completely shifted our mindset with that um, soon after he was born and we started advocating for him and speaking up and anytime it could, we could potentially even just talk about it with somebody, even if it was somebody new who we just met that day, we would you know, open up about what XXY was. Um, and it's like, if people don't know about it, how, how can anything change? Like something needs to change in our community. I hear the same story from moms all the time that, that contact us who, you know, they're in my, the same position that we were in a couple of years ago where they get these NIPT results and nobody in the medical community knows anything about it. And they're scared and frustrated and like something needs to change. So if we don't speak up for our kids, then nothing will change. Nothing will get better for them and the next generation. So we have to speak up. That's, that's really our, that's our commitment to, to our sons.